I am now going to show you how to use a different thresholding method based on negative controls developed by Roman Duet. Um, so for that, we're going to use this LIFACT and Phalloidin data. So LIFACT and Phalloidin are uh, markers for filamentous actin. And you'll see in this folder, there are 18 items and they consist of six images each of different conditions. One which has both Phalloidin and LIFACT one which has phalloidin but not lifact and which one which has lifact but not phalloidin and so i'm going to illustrate how to use the negative controls to find a threshold um, for uh, the lifact channel so if i open one of the negative controls the first channel is phalloidin where you can see the filamentous actin the second channel uh, is lifact and this is just background levels uh, of signal uh, in the absence of life act. So how do we use this image to get a threshold? So we're going to use a method developed by Roman Guillet, and he wrote a macro that I've just included here. I did not write this, he wrote it, called find false positive threshold, which we're gonna drag into the Fiji um, sort of script editor. So what this macro does is it looks at the histogram of a negative control image and it tells you if you accept a certain fraction of positive um, of false positives what is the threshold that you have to use to get that particular fraction of false positives so when you run it you have to tell it where the image is that you want so in this case i'm going to use the image called ph plus la minus that means it doesn't have any life act image number one I open that and I know that the channel that I care about is channel two, that's the LIFAC channel. So if I say okay, it goes and opens that image and it creates this where it says, if you accept this number of false, this fraction of false positives, then your threshold value will be this. So the fewer false positives you accept, obviously the higher the threshold value will be. So I'm gonna copy these values just to a notepad and I'm going to redo this. Uh, on uh, a few of these images to see how much they vary. So to redo it, uh, something I discovered is you have to close everything. So I'm just gonna close this one and then the rest I can close with my cleanup macro. Um, and so if I now run this one again, but I run it on the second image, and I just say open and okay. I now have this, I'm gonna copy these over. And I'm going to do it one more time. I have six. I'm not going to do it on the six, but I just want to illustrate how things might vary. I'm going to clean up my windows. Um, and obviously, you know, you could write a something to wrap this and, and have it um, uh, sort of loop through. Uh, I'm, I'm just doing a brute force approach right now. Uh, so I'm going to run it one last time. Um, kind of go here. Say open. OK. And here we go. So you can see that if I take, for example, a 0.1% tolerance, the thresholds across one uh, across the different images are 150, 208, and 227. So I would average those together and use that uh, as a threshold. If I used a 0.01%, they range from 204 to 250 to 319. Um, so sort of roughly in the in the 250 range. So let's check uh, what whether those sort of thresholds make sense by looking at um, some of the images that do have life act. So for example, um, I'll use this one. So this one doesn't have phalloidin. Here's the life act signal. I'm going to open the thresholding tool and you know, the, the average of the 0.01 .01 is about 250 or 260. So I'm just going to set that here so we can see. Um, so you can see, you know, that that's a pretty reasonable threshold. And if we compare it to what it does with default, so default gives you a slightly lower one. Atsu uh, gives you, let's see, actually, yeah, it gives you the same as the default. Um, so you can see that the, the advantage uh, of this method is, is based on a, an, ex, an experimental negative control. So, it, so it's very well supported and sort of conceptually, um, and it might work uh, for your uh, data set. So it's well worth trying uh, this method out to see if it'll uh, be a good match uh, for what you need to do.